friends, happy and blessed All Saints Day. Today, we celebrate and rejoice with all the saints, known and unknown in heaven. Watch out for more on the saints later. Thank you for sharing your amazing artwork with us on our Facebook page, Little Faith Steps, week after week. We are always inspired by your sharing and beautiful artwork. Do keep them coming. Last week, we learned about the eighth beatitude. In Matthew chapter 5, verse 10, Jesus says, Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. If we love Jesus and want to experience the joy of heaven, then we must be prepared to face persecutions. Others may say or do unkind things to us when we do the right thing. But as long as we persevere and keep our eyes on Jesus, we will receive the joy of the kingdom of heaven. Jesus shows us how to love in the Beatitudes. When we learn to love more and more like Jesus, we have the hope of joining the angels and saints in heaven. Before we go on an all saints adventure, let's begin with a prayer and a song of praise to Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the saints who shine the light of Jesus to those around them. Holy Spirit, guide us to be better disciples of Jesus by modeling after the lives of the saints. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us sing to Jesus and add the Holy Spirit to renew our lives so that we can live in His light and shine His light to those around us.
Hi kids and welcome back. Are you ready for an All Saints adventure? Join us as we go on a blessed journey to discover more about the saints. John, are you ready? Where are you? Whoa, Dad, why are you dressed like that? Did you forget? Hmm. Oh, it's All Saints Day. Yep. We used to celebrate with masks and a party after that, but now we can't. Yeah, well, we can still celebrate, but in a different way. But how? <laughs> You'll soon find out. Why don't you go ahead and change first? Do you know how many saints there are in the Catholic Church? Too many to count. Some are known and some are known. Saint comes from the Latin word sanctus, which means holy. As Christians, we are all called to live a life of holiness. Saints are the holy men and women who have attained the goal of heaven and are in God's presence forever. They are known as the church triumphant. We are the church militant because we are soldiers of Christ, still fighting against sin and evil and striving for holiness. Church expectant are those who have gone before us and whose souls are being purified before they see God in heaven. The church triumphant, the church militant, and the church expectant make up one church. Let us now learn more about the saints. Hey kids, welcome to Guess That Saint! Uncle David and I will be your host for today. Every time you answer a question correctly, you get 100 graces! Are you ready? Let's play! Here is the first question. Who is the patron saint of teachers? Saint Marcella Champagne? Saint Therese of the Child Jesus? Or Saint John Baptist de La Salle? That's right, it's St. John Baptist de La Salle. His mission was to serve the last, the lost, and the least. Ready for the next question? Here we go! He or she was kidnapped by slave traders, cut by 114 strokes of the knife, and was given the name Fortunate One. Who is this saint? St. Louis-Marie de Montfort? St. Josephine Baquita? Or... St. Francis Xavier Cabrini. Is your answer St. Josephine Paquita? Well done! She led a difficult life, but chose to forgive those who hurt her. Here is another one. Who won an award for the works he or she had done? St. Teresa of Calcutta, Blessed Carlo Acutis, or St. John Paul II? It's St. Teresa of Calcutta, or also known as Mother Teresa. She chose to live each day loving and serving others, especially the homeless, abandoned, sick, and dying. Here is the last question. Who is the saint who sacrificed his life or her life for a stranger? St. Clair of Assisi? St. Maximilian Kolbe? Or Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati? You've got it! It's Saint Maximilian Kobe. Now he believed that without sacrifice there is no love. He's also a media missionary. Now that wraps up our quiz time. See you next time. Bye! Wasn't that fun? I hope you got all 400 graces. 
we all want to be close to Jesus just like the saints. So let's sing this song to Jesus to tell Him that He alone is enough for us. a holy young person who is very close to being a saint. And who created a website to show everyone the Eucharistic miracles too. Hey, sorry I'm late. Aren't the two of you going to dress up for All Saints Day? Huh? I'm already dressed. I'm the little flower. This saint saw herself as a little flower in Jesus' garden. She teaches us to do little, ordinary things with great love. Oh, Saint the rest of the child, Jesus. Hey Noah, you are Saint Michael the Archangel. You always have your sword to protect us from the wickedness and snares of the devil. Now you look ready to defend us on the day of battle. Enough talking, let's go visit those homes and give out these treats. And maybe we'll get some too. This is going to be the best All Saints Day party ever. Let's go! There is so much we can learn from the saints. They show us how to stay close to Jesus and to love as Jesus loves. This week, 
Don't forget to ask the Holy Spirit to help you to learn from these holy men and women and teenagers too who have showed us the way to heaven and to shine Jesus' light to everyone. If you'd like to find out more about the saints, go to our Facebook page, Little Faith Steps. This week's activity can also be found there. Now don't forget to like and share our Facebook page and post your works in the comments section. Remember that we are all brothers and sisters on a journey of hope towards sainthood. Let's encourage one another and lift each other up. It is now time to set up your altar table and prepare for Holy Mass. Take a moment now to get these items and see you in a while. Oh, don't forget to take a photo and post it on Facebook or Instagram with the hashtag CatholicMarsAtHome. Let us now listen to our Auntie Estella has to share with us about something that we will see at Mass. On the Church's most important feasts, the Church looks and smells a little bit different. During the Mass, you'll see an altar server swing a bowl on a metal chain with smoke rising from it. The smoke comes from incense that is burned in the bowl, called a thurible. The clouds of smoke and the beautiful smell remind us that we come to Mass to meet God in heaven. Incense comes from the sap of trees that grow in the Middle East. Centuries before Jesus was born, the Jewish people would burn it as a fragrant offering to God. We Catholics follow this tradition, using it to bless and to purify. At Mass, you'll see Father sprinkle incense over the hot coals. Then he swings the thurible to perfume the bread and wine and the altar itself. And guess what? After Father has incensed the bread and wine, which will become Jesus' body and blood, the altar server brings the thurible over to us in the pews. We get to share in this blessing too. Thank you, Auntie Estella. Let us now settle down, sit in front of your altar table, take a moment to be silent and prepare for Holy Mass. Welcome, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to the Holy Mass with children. Thank you for joining us to sing songs of praise and to learn more about the saints. There's nothing like giving God our hands and our voices to worship Him as our loving Father. Let us now worship the Lord together on this All Saints Day, 1st November 2020. We offer up this Mass for all children that they may learn from the lives of the saints and strive to live a saintly life here on earth. Join us in singing the processional hymn. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. 
The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. And so my dear brothers and sisters, today you see I'm wearing white because it's not an ordinary Sunday that we're celebrating. This year, All Saints Day falls on a Sunday. And the solemnity of the All Saints is so important. We celebrate all the saints that are in heaven with God. And so as we come to celebrate All Saints, maybe let us reflect, have we been monsters in our life? Have we been unloving? Have we been naughty? You know, like the way people celebrate Halloween? Maybe it's an invitation for us to come to God and allow Him to make us holy, to allow Him to make us saints. And so we prepare by asking God for his healing mercy. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, therefore I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, by whose gift we venerate in one celebration the merits of all the saints, bestow on us, we pray, 
through the prayers of so many intercessors, an abundance of the reconciliation with you, for which we earnestly long. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the Apocalypse. I, John, saw another angel rising with the sun rises, carrying the seal of the living God. He called in a powerful voice to the four angels whose duty was to devastate land and sea. Wait, before you do any damage on land or at sea, or to the trees, until we have put the seal on the foreheads of the servants of God. Then I heard how many were sealed. A hundred and forty-four thousand out of all the tribes of Israel. After that, I saw a huge number, impossible to count, of people from every nation, race, tribe, and language. They were standing in front of the throne and in front of the Lamb, dressed in white robes and holding palms in their hands. They shouted aloud, Victory to our God who sits on the throne and to the Lamb! And all the angels who were standing in a circle round the throne, surrounding the elders and the four animals, prostrated themselves before the throne and touched the ground with their foreheads, worshipping God with these words. Amen. Praise and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honour and power and strength to our God for ever and ever. Amen. One of these elders then spoke and asked me, Do you know who these people are? Dressed in white robes and where they have come from? I answered him, You can tell me, my lord. Then he said, These are the people who have been through the great persecution, and they have washed their robes white again in the blood of the Lamb. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
A reading from the first letter of St. John. Think of the love that the Father has lavished on us by letting us be called God's children, and that is what we are. Because the world refused to acknowledge Him, therefore it does not acknowledge us. My dear people, we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not yet been revealed. All we know is that when it is revealed, we shall be like Him, because we shall see Him as He really is. Surely, everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Seeing the crowds, Jesus went up the hill. There he sat down and was joined by his disciples. Then he began to speak. This is what he taught them. How happy are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy the gentle. They shall have the earth for their heritage. Happy those who mourn. They shall be comforted. Happy those who hunger and thirst for what is right they shall be satisfied. Happy the merciful, they shall have mercy shown them. Happy the pure in heart, they shall see God. Happy the peacemakers, they shall be called sons of God. Happy those who are persecuted in the cause of right, theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Happy are you when people abuse you and persecute you and speak all kinds of calumny against you on my account. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we come to celebrate All Saints Day, who are the saints that we are celebrating? During the year... There are many saints that we celebrate their feast days. Just recently, we celebrated the feast of St. Simon and St. Jude. And so, why do we have a special day for all saints? Because there are so many saints that we may not celebrate all of their feast days. And there may be saints who we do not know. Because what are saints? Saints, when the church declares a saint, it means that these are holy men and women who are in heaven with God. They have lived their lives and of course, only the ones that we know of that the church has gone to investigate, we canonize them. The word canonize means we make them, declare them a saint. But there are many others who are saints who we may not know of and we want to celebrate them. And who are these saints? These saints are great men and women who live lives of holiness, who live amazing lives. When I was growing up, these saints were like superheroes to me. 
I remember my dad had a book on Padre Pio or Saint Pio. And reading about his life and the things that he did, he was able to look at a person and know what is in his heart. He was able to be, as what people say, bilocate, to be in two places at one time. People encountered him and felt that great love. And so when I saw this saying, I said, wow, what a wonderful man. How I wish I can be like him. But after a while, I think, I don't think I can be like him. Because if you look at all the saints that we have, a lot of them are popes, bishops, priests, religious brothers and sisters. And growing up, I say, nah, I don't think I can be that. I don't think I can be so holy. I don't think at that time, I didn't think that I would even be a priest. And so this question is, can I be a saint? Or is it so easy? Or is it possible for us to be saints? Because these saints seem to be like the Ronaldos or the Messi of the church. All of us are just ordinary. But today I would like to share with you someone who was just recently beatified. The word beatified means he was declared blessed, which is one step before somebody can be declared a saint, where he's canonized. And this person is called Blessed Carlo Acutis. This young man was born in 1991, not that long ago. But he passed away at the age of 15 in 2006. And recently, on the 10th of October, the church had called him blessed. They had looked at his life and deemed it holy in the things that he did. And if I were to tell you what did this blessed Carlo Acutis do in his life, he watched Pokemon, he used the internet, he played computer, he was a programmer. Even when you look at the body that was put on display, he's wearing jeans, Nike shoes, a polo t-shirt. Have you ever seen a, a saint wearing jeans? This is my first time. Which gives me hope that maybe I can be a saint. If this young man at the age of 15 can be a saint, what does it mean for us? that we too can be saints. The question is, do I want to? It's not that we are lowering the standards of, oh, now the standard of a saint is so low, but maybe we have the wrong idea of what holiness is. We think that holiness is to become a priest, to become a sister. Then that is holy. If I go out and work, then I cannot be a saint. But that's not true. For us, what is Jesus asking us to do? He's asking us to live out a life of love. Blessed Carlo Acutis, he lived out his life living in love. Yes, he used the computer, but he used it not just for himself, for his own entertainment, but he used it for good. He used his skills to go and program a website to help people discover the Eucharistic miracles around the world. He used his life, his relationships. When his friends were being bullied, he would stand up for them. When they were going through difficult moments, he invited them to his home to talk with them, to give them comfort. And he lived out his life always in prayer, always seeking God. And that is why the church has found his life holy and worthy to be shared with all of us so that we may be inspired. What can you do? Today, the readings remind us of what we are called to be. The second reading from the first letter of St. John tells us 
Think of the love that the Father has lavished upon us by letting us be called God's children. To know first and foremost that we are God's children. And that, he says, that is what we are. And we are already the children of God, but what we are to be in the future has not been revealed. We don't know what we are be going to be in the future, but St. John tells us, all we know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him. And so everyone who entertains this hope must purify himself, must try to be as pure as Christ. And so don't think about, can I be a saint? Maybe think about, do I want to go to heaven? Because only saints are in heaven. Heaven is a place of holiness, of goodness, of purity. And do I want to enter heaven? If I want to be enter heaven, then I will need to start living a life like a saint. Maybe I'm not there now, but I want to become one. If you ask me, can I be a saint now? I also don't know. But I want to. I want to form my life using the Beatitudes that we heard in the Gospel. Some of the Gospel translations will say, Blessed are the poor in spirit. Blessed are the gentle. Here in the one that we read, it says, Happy. Happy are the poor in spirit. Do we want to be happy? A lot of times we find happiness by being selfish. We find happiness by having more so that others, we have more than others. But Jesus' idea of happiness is not something so short term. His idea of happiness, blessedness, comes from living out a life of love. And for us, this is what we are called to do. We try called to live a life of love in the little ways that we can. Not all of us can be a Ronaldo or Messi. Not all of us can be a Joseph Schooling, a great swimmer. But we all can play sports. We all can swim. Not all of us may do great things like Pope St. John Paul, Mother Teresa, but we are called to live out that holiness in the little things that we do. And Mother Teresa gives us this great quote. She tells us, not everyone can do great things, but all of us can do little things with great love. And so today as we reflect, how can I live out the call of love in the little things in my life? How can I be less selfish, more generous? How can I give of my time, my skill, my talents to share that, to help people discover God's love? And so I want to just share with you something which uh, the diocese is launching. It's an Instagram filter which was created to give us a little inspiration. And if you use this Instagram filter, it gives you a choice of uh, a lucky draw of saints that you, you know, that may, can inspire you. And so if you use the filter, find out which saint is for you. And you can go to the website on the diocese page to find out more about these saints. And so let us pray today as we celebrate all saints that we ask the saints to intercede for us, to pray for us, that we may be inspired by them, that we want to live our lives of love. Amen. And so God loves us and invites us to respond. Having heard the word of God, let us respond by professing our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, 
Born of the Father before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God. Begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day. In accordance with the Scriptures, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers in Christ, the saints had complete confidence in God's power to meet all their needs. Let us have the same confidence as we now present our needs before God. Our response is, Lord graciously hear us. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Archbishop William, all priests and clergy, that they may look to the wisdom, faith and holiness of St. John the Twenty-Third, St. John Paul the Second, and all the popes who have shown the way. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For the multitude from every nation, race, tribe and language, that they may find their salvation in God and in the blood of the Lamb, we pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For all the saints, the martyrs, the holy men and women who have gone before us, that we may always pray in thanksgiving for them and seek to follow their examples towards holiness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For students preparing for and taking their examinations, that they find calm and clarity of mind in the Holy Spirit, and not being anxious, remember all they've learned and be able to apply what they've been taught. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For children and young people, that they grow in gentleness, mercy, and purity of heart, always seeking what is right and just. We pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. For the intentions we hold silently in our hearts and those who have asked for our prayers. In union with Mary, the Mother of God, and all the saints, we pray to the Lord. Lord, graciously hear us. God of holiness, we thank you for the example of the saints. May their teaching and witness make us always faithful to you in times of plenty and in times of need. We pray through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May these offerings we bring in honour of all the saints be pleasing to you, O Lord, and grant that just as we believe the saints to be already assured of immortality, so we may experience the concern for our salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for today by your gift we celebrate the festival of your city, the heavenly Jerusalem, our mother, where the great array of our brothers and sisters already gives you eternal praise. Towards her we ha eagerly hasten as pilgrims advancing by faith, rejoicing in the glory bestowed upon those exalted members of the church to whom you give us in our frailty both strength and good example. And so we glorify you with the multitude of saints and angels as with one voice of praise we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession 
In your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope and William our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who are pleasing to you at the passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, from whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. As we heard in the second reading, we are all children of God, and so let us pray to God our Father, in the words Jesus, our brother, has taught us. Our Father, Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold Jesus, the King of all the saints. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
And so for all of you who are watching it, watching this at home, I invite you to take this time to pray and for this spiritual communion, to recognize that God wants to be in communion with you. He wants all of you to be saints. And so pray and ask the Lord to help us to grow in holiness, help us to grow in love because of the love that he has shown to us, the love that Jesus showed to us by dying on the cross and giving his life, his body for us. We invite all those watching to make an act of spiritual communion with a spirit of gratefulness, thanking God for his infinite love and sacrifice. With humble and contrite hearts, let us express our desire to invite Jesus into our souls. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we adore you, O God, who alone are holy and wonderful in all your saints, we implore your grace, so that coming to perfect holiness in the fullness of your love, we may pass from this pilgrim table to the banquet of our heavenly homeland. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And so before I end with the blessing, I just want to encourage all of you to think, do you want to be a saint? I want to be a saint. Not many St. Terrans around. I hope that we, I can be a saint so that I can enter into heaven. And I hope that I will see all of you as saints in heaven too. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May God, the glory and joy of the saints who has caused you to be strengthened by means of their outstanding prayers, Bless you with unending blessings. Amen. Freed through their intercession from present ills and formed by the example of their holy way of life, may you be ever devoted to serving God and your neighbour. Amen. So that together with all, you may possess the joys of the homeland where Holy Church rejoices that her children are admitted in perpetual peace to the company of the citizens of heaven. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.